I want to apologize right off the bat because I've got an echo. 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 And I'm having, and to, I'm having to pause. pause. Myself. Myself. Myself twice. Give yourself twice. Give yourself twice. But we wanted to come, wanted here, to come today here today because my guest my guest has her Wi-Fi, has her Wi-Fi and Wi-Fi and it out. out. She can do it today. I want to welcome you to the orchard. Heather Artist. She paints on feathers. paints on feathers. He's also an artist in general. Does fabulous, does fabulous work. work. He's from Walla Walla, Washington. Walla, Washington. Well, for Sherry well, for Sherry Orchard. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> this is going to be interesting. <laughs> you can do it. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm not to listen, I'm not to, listen to myself. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so first right, of all, so first of all, talk a little bit about your self and, and, and history. More history. history. Well, um, I grew up, um, I've lived in Walla Walla my whole life. Uh, my grandparents had a wheat and cattle farm uh, ranch out, outside of town, about 12 miles, and they had horses. And so um, every weekend, all summer, uh, every chance I got, I was at their, at their farm, and uh, I had a horse April. Um, and uh, I just rode her every chance I got. She was a great horse. We had lots of uh, places to ride out here. So she's my best friend. That's yeah. Awesome. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah, I had a little yeah, pony. I had a little pony. Pony. And I took her and everywhere. I took her everywhere. Even in the house. Even in the house. <laughs> much TV much TV with me. Well, we had a pony and uh, it was funny because my I'd go for a ride with mom and I'd make her ride the pony and I'd ride the big horse. <laughs> so, um, so, um, do, 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 it was just trail riding. Um, I n- never really got into anything as far as competitions or anything. It was just, uh, trail riding and just adventures. There's, uh, lots of areas to ride. So I was off by myself most of the time. Yeah. Just yeah. Right, so, right, so, how, how did you get involved? Um, well, I, I'd always liked to draw. Um, when I was little, I remember my mom would draw horses for me and, uh, I always wanted her to show me how to do it. And so I just started trying to copy her and, um, then just started drawing on anything I could get my hands on. I, I draw on paper plates, I draw on a rock, um, anything. And then as I got older, I went into, I started in oils, started painting a little bit in oils. Um, later on, I switched over to acrylic. Um, so it, it just kind of was a hobby until I got into feathers. And then once I got into the feathers, then it then it took off as a business and I started selling my artwork and it just then dar- started doing art shows and yeah. just been yeah. growing and growing. And you got mm-hmm. famous. And you got kinda. famous, kind of. Well. <laughs> <laughs> That's interesting. That's interesting. So, so, tell us a, tell little, us bit a about- little bit about how you work with how the you feathers. work with a feather? What types and what types? Well, um, I a lot of the feathers I get um, are turkey feathers, and we have wild turkeys everywhere around here. So a lot of the feathers I use are just from ones I picked up. Um, they drop them a couple times a year, and so I just start going around gathering them. And, <laughs> um, and I started out just doing single feathers, um, and then I wanted to start doing bigger pieces and so I figured out a way to uh, layer the feathers and uh, one of the biggest paintings I did uh, the frame size was I believe 30 by 36 it was a pretty big painting Um, so and for the bigger ones I use peacock feathers they're the I I think they're the the tail feather the hold up the pretty feathers Um, but they're really long wide feathers and so they work really well for the bigger paintings you did mean, you did 30, mean 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, right? Inches. Inches. <laughs> inches. <laughs> <laughs> Not that big. Like, like <laughs> That's a lot of feathers. <laughs> <laughs> so are people, so are using, people these, using these uh, uh, um, framed art in, in their home? Yeah. Um, we use um, barnwood frames. My husband actually makes a lot of the barnwood frames that I use. Um, there is a company that I order some of the other rustic looking frames that might be a little bit more, um, I don't know, elegant. Um, so I go from rustic to, you know, more of a modern type of frame, but, um, yeah. And a lot of the paintings I do, I use a kind of a 
it's a handmade paper background. So it's kind of a whole combination, not just the feather painting itself, but the whole, the background, <laughs> everything. That's neat. That's neat. Yeah. Now, now yeah. feathers, now, feathers are really, really um, delicate. Delicate. Mm -hmm. how, how do you, do they don't, do they don't fall apart? Well, it took a lot of trial and error. Um, I have destroyed a lot of feathers <laughs> and they do tend to split when, when you try and paint them. Um, but I just kind of take it as a just a regular canvas, but just a little more delicate. And so I put a primer on the feathers. Um, it's a gesso primer that I just put a real light coat on. Um, and once I get maybe three or four coats of that, then it's just like painting on a canvas. They hold together really well. That's neat. Hey, I'm showing. That's neat. Hey, I'm showing. It sounds like a. Yeah, it sounds a, like a. I've got a problem. With it. Yeah, <laughs> you're, you're <laughs> echoing a little bit, but that that particular one, it was. I hadn't done many on the actual peacock feathers like that, um, and so just recently I started doing those for the hat feathers, um, and those are more. I've been using them for. Um, more of the women, the barrel racing type thing. And I've also put hummingbirds and dragonflies on them. Yeah, I was going to ask you what is inspiration in nature. Um, well, where we live, we have a lot of wildlife. Um, we've got elk and bears and cougars, and we have trail cams set up behind our property. And so a lot of my reference images um, are from our trail cam oh, for the wildlife oh, pictures. Yeah. Um, and for the rodeo and Western, um, we go to a lot of rodeos, Pendleton Roundup, um, St. Paul Rodeo and Omax Stampede. So I get a lot of my photos just from going to the, the rodeos for okay. those reps. Okay. Yeah. So you're so out, you're in, out the in the Northwest. Yep. Do you, um, Do you stay, um, out stay out there in our country? Well, I pretty much, uh, stick with the Northwest. Um, Montana is really my big, big one. I do a lot of, uh, shows and uh, sales in Montana. Um, I've done Great Falls, uh, Big Fork, Whitefish, um, Kalispell in that area. And so I'm always looking for different shows in Western Montana. Um, but and I also work full time, so I can't travel too far. I'm a middle school secretary. So I'm off to work when this is done. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I do a lot of painting uh, on my lunch break. <laughs> See, I'm I'm do. Yeah. <laughs> um, um, so tell so us about, tell some, us about more some more famous, famous people, people that have been. Well, um, I, the one I'm really proud of is uh, a painting I did of Bobby Kerr. Um, I was at the Pendleton Roundup a few years ago, and he... Um, trains these wild horses and does specialty acts at these rodeos and he's just amazing he's so talented um but i'll never forget he was running the arena uh on his palomino horse with the american flag and i took a photo of it and the minute i looked at the photo and zoomed in on it oh i can't wait to paint that that's my next one and so it ended up um his wife had heard about that painting and she contacted me and and bought the painting for him for his birthday that's neat, so that's that, neat. that was pretty exciting yeah for sure yeah for sure yeah and then what yeah, about, what um, about um, did you mention yes yeah in fact he is the one that got me started with the hat feathers uh, jj okay. harrison okay. yeah he was a teacher um at the school when i first went to work for the school district um he was teaching <laughs> anyway so i got to know him back then and um Anyway, just recently, uh, well, it was about two years ago, he asked me to paint a hat feather for him. And so since then, I've done probably close to a dozen hat feathers for JJ. And uh, he's kind of my uh, promotion person that he wears them at the rodeos. And so I've gotten a lot of work just from people seeing the feathers that he's had. That's great. That's great. So, so you you have, uh, have uh, uh, frameable art. Yeah, there you are. Yeah. Yep. Yep. That's neat. That's neat. Yep. <laughs> I'm branching out. Yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right, so, All right, so you've been you've been some media. Media. tell us about tell that. Tell us about that. Um, well, there's a couple regional magazines. Um, and uh, a couple of years ago, I had a, a PBS station contact me, uh, Northwest Profiles. Um, they did a segment on me and it turned out really well. I thought they did a great job on it. And I've gotten a lot of calls. Um, from people in Canada and all over the Northwest um, 
asking about my artwork and have, I've gotten a lot of commissions through that show. That's great. That's great. Um, um, to say, to say, um, the magazines, there was a, um, in the Northwest, um, the name has changed now. This was about five years ago, I think. Okay. Um, okay. Yeah. So I've had an article in that, um, and just various newspapers that art shows I've gone to. Okay. Okay. Well, you're doing oh, great. You're doing great. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah here's what you're going to update. I will. <laughs> and we also and we also have a giveaway. giveaway. Yeah. Um, if so, you want to email me, um, give me your uh, name, address, phone number, email address, and I'll let you pick a hat feather from what I've got in stock. I've got um, oh some team ropers, uh, bareback riders. I've uh, barrel racers. Um, so on March 15th, I'll just put your name in a hat and draw one and contact you and you can pick the one you want. Okay. So okay, we want to so put wanna, your, um, your um, email up there. Email up there. Yep. So you want to email, 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 email. email. Yeah. To um, enter. That'd be fine or, you know, whatever's easiest, but that's kind of what I was thinking. And just on March 15th, I'll just go ahead and pick a name. Sounds good. Sounds good. Good plan. Good plan. <laughs> yeah, that's a beautiful yeah, that's a beautiful here. here. I'm you're cutting out. I can't can't hear you. I said that's I a said beautiful that's a beautiful that's on, that's the on the screen. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Just barely. Okay. You're cutting. Okay. <laughs> all right. All right. Well, <laughs> oh yeah. It's living in the sticks. <laughs> I was just saying that was, was a saying that was a beautiful feather. I, I can't hear you. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right. Thank you. 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 Thank and help us and share help love, us share love, and love, and love, and love of force. I did it. I did it. <laughs> you did it. <laughs> you did it. <laughs> Thank you so much, Thank you Sarah. so much, Darren. Thank you. All right. Y'all also right. did your Orchard.com. Uh, orchard uh, orchard uh, orchard uh, orchard right? SherryOrchard.com. Sherry All right. Well, thank you so much. All right. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.